Okay, so we did part one of this wacky Georgia weekend, wherein we looked at Donald Trump's speech at a rally in Commerce, Georgia. But I told you there would be three parts. We'll eventually get to the rally attendees. But first, I want to do something intermediate, which is to look at some of the people on the stage, some of the other people who participated in the rally, because at very often at these rallies, we say you've got the craziness of Trump and you've got the craziness of the rally goers. But here we actually have really in its full glory, the level of delusion and depravity of the people that still are willing and interested in associating themselves with Donald Trump, including candidates and current elected officials. And so let's go through some of those. First and foremost, radical Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene was at the rally. She spoke at the rally and before speaking, she was interviewed. And uh, here she puts together some outrageous uh, idea that they if they take this, the House will investigate Hunter Biden's laptop. Now, Hunter Biden has nothing to do with the administration. I don't know why anyone's still talking about his laptop, but take a listen to this. And they were doing all these shady business deals in Ukraine and other countries. What they were doing is investing in bio labs, interested in bio weapons. And my team is already looking into it. And I have to tell you, we had our Republican retreat for the past couple of days. And there's going to be a new Republican Party coming Love back it. in Washington. And we're planning oversight committees on every single committee. There will be oversight and investigations. And you better bet Hunter Biden laptop will be top of the list. <laughs> so there's about four funny things there. Number one, there's going to be a new Republican Party. If that's true, I don't think she's going to be part of it. And what I mean by that is there's increasingly pressure within the Republican Party to get the hell away from people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. So if there's a new Republican Party, she'll be gone. Number two, she talks about all of the things committees are going to do. She's been kicked off every committee. That's also a funny thing. Now, of course, if Republicans win in the fall, they may put Marjorie Taylor Greene back on committees. That's fair. But the idea that Hunter Biden's laptop is going to be a top priority, I don't think she's kidding. I think she's telling the truth. And that's what makes it so scary. Uh, Then she jumped into the typical anti-Semitic tropes. See if you can spot them here. Some of the topics you're going to talk about. Well, what I'll be talking about is some of what I've talked about right now, but I'll also be talking about how there's a globalist agenda and that agenda is being brought forth by the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab and all of their cronies. These are the same people that, you know, what they want right now is they want war and more war because they love crisis and they love to use it to their political advantage. Now, I know to many of our untrained ears, you might not recognize anything she said as anti-Semitic. And I concede she may not mean these things in an openly anti-Semitic way, but this is the same old trope of globalist control. The one guy she mentions is Jewish for the personal gain of the people doing the controlling. Often they say Klaus Schwab and George Soros. Globalist is another buzzword. Sometimes these people don't even realize that these all of these ideas have a basis in anti-Semitism. But it's Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she doesn't realize the origins of half the things that she says. Then Matt Gates spoke. Matt Gates also spoke at the rally, and he says he wants Trump to be Speaker of the House if Republicans win in November to fire Nancy Pelosi, take back the majority, impeach Joe Biden, and I'm going to nominate Donald Trump for Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Now, again, I don't think it's going to work out for them. But there is really a movement within the Republican Party to make Trump speaker of the House if they win in November. Remember that you don't have to be a member of the House to be speaker of the House. Anybody can be made speaker of the House. It's just traditionally it's been a member of the House. And then we got to a really ugly phase in the event, which is when Herschel Walker spoke. Herschel Walker, who recently said if monkeys still exist, how could evolution be real? Here he is. Listen to this. Americans, we're not black, we're not white, we're American, we're all mutts. I hate to tell you that. 
We should have learned a long time ago that 23 and me has screwed us all up. That's really the enemy, guys, 23 and me. And then Herschel Walker apparently wanting to talk about CRT, critical race theory, instead talking about CTR. For this country, people want to ask me all the time why I'm running. I'm sick and tired. Yeah, but I mean, I have no idea why he's running. It's a good question. I'm sick and tired of them want to teach CTR in, in school, critical race theory. Can you tell me what that means? We can. Uh, and again, I, I, this is a guy who's taken a lot of hits to the head. He may have a brain injury. Uh, th that's not a joke. I mean, he played football for a while. Heisman trophy winner, college football, pro football. Um, he does seem to often be extraordinarily confused during these speeches and CTR that's click through rate in advert in the world of advertising. CTR is a very important metric and uh, maybe he wants it taught in school. And then here is Marjorie Taylor green barely able to see over the lectern going on a very homophobic rant about Pete Buttigieg. And I'll explain that to you in a moment. And you know what? Pete Buttigieg can take his electric vehicles and his bicycles and he and his husband can stay out of our girls bathrooms. That is man, that is so depressing. That's standard right wing homophobic nuttery. And it's the idea that gay men are pedophiles. Why would Pete Buttigieg be interested in hanging out in a girl's bathroom? It doesn't make any sense. And of course, the disdain for bicycles. You don't like bicycles. You don't like electric vehicles. Like what is there not to like about an electric vehicle? So this is part two of our exploration of the rally in Georgia. We looked at the Trump nuttery and now the acolyte nuttery next. And lastly, no more. This is the last part. We will look at the attendees.